Hey, what's up, guys? Mike from No Cliff Kid Boxing Academy. Gonna be breaking down the action from Bellator 108, giving you live results, breakdown, and analysis. In the first prelim, action starts off very slow, resembles more of a sparring match. Uh, Jimmy Smith scorecard goes for Haas, but actually, I think uh, Lester's doing the more work. Uh, the second round, he really gets busy with his leg kicks. In the third, the referee is calling for action, and he lands a big punch that drops Haas and goes for the finish. He gets the guillotine, and it looks like it, it won't be there, but eventually he gets the tap. A lot of clinch work in the early going with Brett Primus versus Brett Glass. Primus working very hard. Eventually he gets that takedown, and he gets mount, starts grinding and pounding, so Glass turns over to avoid the punishment. And Primus, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt, eventually improves position, gets the rear naked choke. Uh, very impressive. Bubba Jenkins comes out, lands a big punch right away that makes his opponent, Ian Rammel, shoot in on him. Of course, he stuffs it, stays on top the rest of the round. Second and third, a lot of the same thing. Bubba getting the takedown, staying on top. Ground and pound. Uh, at the end of the fight, he really turns it up, though. Punches are getting through, and referee Dan Mergliano stops it. So Almeida uh, versus Goichi Yamauchi in his second Bellator fight. He's looking fantastic once again. He has very good stand-up. Uh, phenomenal on the ground. Some amazing jiu-jitsu. Missed weight, though, by 7 pounds. Uh, not sure the reason for that. Hopefully, he gets it together. A uh, very good prospect right there. Keith Bell versus Blagoy Ivanov, a heavyweight battle. Keith Bell is surprisingly doing very well early on. He has a lot of speed for a big guy, landed some good punches, and went for a jumping knee that landed as well. Ivanov's nose busted open, blood dripping everywhere, but he's trying to stay composed and wait it out. Bell starting to gas just a little bit. He gets taken down, and Ivanov gets the rear naked choke. Uh, a bit of a quick tap. I think uh, the fatigue started setting in for Bell. In the final prelim, Hassan Abdullah versus Mike Bannon. Bannon showing some improved boxing skills, but of course, he gets the takedown. He starts working on his jiu-jitsu right away, locks up an arm triangle choke, and he finishes it. On to the main card now, Terry Adam making his Bellator debut. It's a very impressive one. He gets the takedowns whenever he wants them, several submission attempts, and just complete control and dominance throughout the whole fight. In the lightweight tournament finals, Alexander Tiger Sarnowski was doing pretty well in the early going, avoiding the takedowns, landing some shots, but eventually Will Brooks figured it out. He got the takedowns. Stayed on top. Rinse and repeat for the second and third round. Will Brooks wins the tournament. In the co-main event, the welterweight tournament finals, Ron Kessler comes out with a bang. He gets Rick Hahn down. Very surprising. He's unloading. Rick Hahn, though, stays in it. He's able to battle his way back. A lot of back and forth. You can see the big size difference is making a big impact in this fight. Second round. That's still a lot of back and forth. In the third, Rick Hahn is down, and he knows he needs a knockout. He really turns it up, starts landing his punches. He has Kester in a lot of trouble, starts rocking him with some big punches, and eventually referee sees enough. Great comeback win, fantastic fight. In the main event for the middleweight title, Alexander Shlomenko, he goes for a takedown early, but he's not able to control Doug the Rhino Marshall, back to the feet. Both guys are mixing it up very well. Rhino's using the inside leg kick and clinching. Uh, both guys doing a really great job. It looks like it's going to be an instant classic. Uh, Shlomenko keeps going with a takedown, though, maybe trying to wear out the Rhino a little bit. But he's working the body really good, and one big shot hurts the Rhino. So he continues to target that area and 
towards the very end of the round, he puts them down and out. 